Hey, how's it going today? Uh, Cancer, it's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot, and I have a bit of a story to tell you while I shuffle the deck um, to do your reading. So I'm doing a general reading for um, January 2019, so the first month of the year, um, in a new year. So um, I actually did your reading once already, and uh, when I walked away and I was just going to get a cup of tea or whatever, you know, just tidying up the house and stuff, um, I, I felt some guidance that said, this is not the reading that we want to give to cancer, right? This is my spirit guides um, saying that to me. And I've never had that happen before. Um, I'm shuffling the essential tarot, guys. I've never had that happen. So I was like, I kind of just shook it off and I thought, well, whatever, you know. Maybe I just wasn't, I don't know. I've never had that feeling before. So I kind of like, I heard it, but I didn't really pay attention to it. And then when I went to go and review the video and like get ready to post it, I noticed that it saved twice. So it was twice as long. It was like one video after another. And I thought, well, how did that happen? You know, cause when you save a video, it just, am I right? It just saves once like, hello. And then I have a video editor but I wasn't able to split the video. And I was like, okay, um, spirit guides, I hear you, okay, I'm going to delete this video, and if that is not the, the reading that Cancer was intended to hear, um, then I'll redo it. So that's what I'm doing, this is the second reading. For some reason, I don't know, I, I've just never had that before. Um, I'll, like that reading was a little bit, um, I don't want to say dark, but it was sort of depicting like a really stressed out situation. So I think, I think spirit just decided to say, all right, that's not it. You know, um, that's not the message we want to give. So here we are doing take two, you guys. Um, and this is like, like I said before, this has never ever happened to me as a card reader where I felt, well, I'm gonna redo that reading because it, you know, I didn't care for it or I thought it sucked. I've never, I've never felt that before. So here we go. Um, round two, I'm listening to my spirits and I hope this resonates with you guys, but just keep in mind it's a general reading, okay? So that's my story. Um, I'll do one more little shuffle here. Man, these cards. Blame it on the cards, right? Blame it on the cards, Robin. So here we go. All right, Essential Tarot. This is the first deck I've ever purchased on my journey as a tarot card reader. So that's why I'm using it also. I just want you guys to know that um, the deck has special meaning for me. So that's why I'm using it as the first reading of the year for all signs. So here we go, Cancer. All right. So the first card I have for you is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords energy is somebody that is, um, they're a really strong person actually. Um, like if you think of the most productive and driven and like collected person you know, that's the Queen of Swords. So I think this energy is definitely related to you as we kick off 2019. You have a, a bit of a new sense of self and you feel renewed in your pursuit, uh, whatever that may be, be it happiness, be it a new project, a new place to live, new relationship or rejuvenating an existing relationship. Like if you look at this card again, um, they could just look how how intense this person, like the queen is, she's just staring ahead and like nothing's gonna stop her, right? Um, sort of the downside of the the queen of swords is that she'll only let you cross her once. Like if she thinks that you have betrayed her in some way, like her confidence or something like that, um, she'll basically just rip you a new one and then cut you out of her life. So maybe try not to have that aspect. Um, so right now, I've got the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups, 
Um, if you look at every single cup here is filled with some like weird option or other. I think there's an octopus in one of the cups, which is like super bizarre. Um, but this is a lot of options. So I think this is what you've been dealing with um, as you're sort of rolling into 2019, right? Um, you've got a, a lot, like too many options here. And I think you finally decided on which choice to make and carry that forward. I think any of the choices that you've been deciding upon, well, that was close, um, would work for you. But there is such a thing as taking on too much. And like if you just said to the universe, yep, yeah, I'm going to take all of this on, like I wonder how successful you would be. So I think that you've used this sort of queen of swords energy and decided on something and you're ready to run with it into 2019. And then um, I think you're feeling really good about this decision because you've got the nine of cups here, which is a, a symbol of... Um, like celebration of now and going into your future. And if you can see all these cups up here, like the cups relate to emotion, they're all standing up straight. And I would uh, consider them to be as full unless this very jolly looking shopkeeper drank everything in them and put the cups back up there. But I mean, he looks, I mean, tanked, let's just say it. Um, but you feel really good about this decision and you have a lot of, um, you're filled with hope and, and joy going forward with some sort of project. Just remember these are general readings, guys, so I can't, it's really hard to narrow down what everybody is doing here. Hmm. So the next card I've pulled here for you guys is the Eight of Cups. So it looks like you're ready, and like the way I'm reading this card is that you're ready to put 2018 behind you. Um, I think it was a bit of a grind for a lot of you out there. So you've just kind of turned your back on it. Um, you have, I think you've been doing a lot of meditation. That's what the moon is telling me here. Like the moon relates to um, our self-talk, you know, and, and, and what we say to ourselves, which is the same thing, Robin, you know? So um, it looks like you're just ready to go. Like you've got your staff in your hand symbolically, right? And you're ready to rock it out in the new year. This is a completely different message than the one I did before. Um, which is great. I mean, I'm just, yeah, I'm still a little stunned by the message I got here. So you guys, wow, I've got the King of Swords here for you guys, which is another like sort of no nonsense character in tarot. Like this, is when you, Think of the King of Swords, like you can think of somebody that is like a deeply analytical person, um, very sharp minded, um, assessing everything like the swords are related to thoughts, right? So I think you've been thinking really deeply about things and you're ready to go forward. And you can see that the King and the Queen are facing each other. Like here. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm sorry, it's so ridiculous sometimes. So, um, like they're talking to each other, like, and I think you guys have been sort of, um, like coaching yourself through a major decision in your life. And it looks like you're just a really um, strong-minded pursuit of your own happiness, not meaning to quote any Will Smith movies right now. Um, and then the next card I pulled right now is the Six of Rods. So when you see this card, um, okay, so rods represent action, right? Doing things, um, again, pursuing. And the character in this card, the soldier, he is riding forward. And if you look how intensely focused he is, like he's going forward to succeed. And that's what this card is about. And it's... Um, it's also an indication that you have support either from your family, friends, um, colleagues, or the universe itself, which I always like to think like the universe is supporting you. Once you make up your mind, the universe is all about you, right? Um, so when you finally do narrow down your decision, and I think a lot of you have done this already, some of you still might be mulling it over. Um, I've been asked to tell you that 
choosing multiple projects may or may not work out for you because you can't pay attention to everything 100%. Um, anyway, so you can see that and the sun is in the background, very powerful card of like basically glory, right? And success with everybody celebrating you. And now the next card I have for you guys is the judgment card. So the judgment card is about a decision being made really. Um, so the judgment card is basically about ushering in um, a new life based on a decision that has been made, like a renewal, um, a rejuvenation. So, and this will be in your favor. So I just, just in support of this, making a decision, maybe you've been waiting for something to come in and this is, is going to trigger like a domino effect in your life. Like I'm seeing a job offer for some of you. I'm seeing the purchase of a home for some of you. Whatever it is, like you're ready to rock it out, like completely. Um, If any of you are like going through this right now or have done, just let me know in the comments. I find it really interesting when it, it resonates with people. Um, I'm just trying to receive additional messages from these cards, you guys. I'm, but what I'm doing now is I'm taking the Archangel cards from the Angel Tarot deck. This is a Doreen Virtue deck. I'm gonna add one to this general um, very strong reading. I think this is why my spirit guides stepped in because I, I think some of you may not needed to hear the guidance that I pulled from earlier. So I'm really thankful to my spirits that they um, redid this for you because this is so much more positive and I think it's the reading that a lot of you need to hear. So thank you. All right, so we've got the, the world card here. So <clears throat> the world card is basically when somebody is feeling on top of the world and when I see this card, it's because you've built the world that you wanna be on top of, right? So additional guidance here, because this is Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude the path toward enlightenment. So you guys are definitely on a journey somewhere um, in your life. This says enlightenment, but you know, your whole life is about enlightenment. So your next step is just your natural sort of ascension path, right? So here, I'll show you guys this card again. So I think specifically when an archangel appears in these readings, like you can call on the on Archangel Michael for assistance. Like if, if you're still in the decision phase, like you, you're not quite sure what decision is the right one. And just know the you guys that there's no wrong decision in your life. I mean, if it's not working out for you, you just reconfigure where you're at and keep going, you know? So it's not a wrong decision. And you can learn from everything that you do, right? Um, and things, if they don't work out, it could be preparing you for something even better in your life. So, um, so it's, this is a great reading for you guys as you move forward and making decisions. And I think that I see backbone here. I think that you might be getting um, resistance from people. They could be your family. Uh, could be friends. Not everybody wants you to succeed, but I do see like massive success here in your next steps. So um, let me know if this resonates for you guys. Um, like this is a general reading. So not every single point I'm making is going to hit with everybody. So that's why I do personalized readings. I do take clients. If you would like a personalized reading that is meant for you, 
send me an email at ariesfiretarot at gmail.com and we'll get you booked in. So anyway, you guys, I'll leave it there for you guys. You guys, um, stay blessed out there. Take care. Thanks for listening. Bye.